hello everyone welcome back and thank you for watching if you're new here my name is maria in today's video i have my top favorite christmas diys i am in the process of moving but i did put all of these videos together so you can watch until i come back next week with some more and new diys and i really hope you guys enjoy this video so if you do please give this video a thumbs up subscribe and hit the bell button so you can get notified every time I upload. With that being said, now let's craft. My first DIY will be this home for the holiday sign. I will be using the biggest picture frame Dollar Tree carries, the 11 by 14, and this red truck. Mine had the tree broken, so I just took the whole tree off. I will be also using this wood plain craft paper I got from Hobby Lobby. I am going to use one sheet and a little bit of another since the picture frame is 11 by 14 and the sheets are 12 by 12. For this next step, I used this box I had. I cut it to the size of the frame, but you can always use poster board or foam board that Dollar Tree carries. I use regular glue stick to glue the paper. To paint my words, I'm going to use a tiny brush and black acrylic paint. For the word holidays, I use the new wood letters Dollar Tree has and I paint them black. You can leave the truck as it comes, but what I did is I sand some of the glitter off and then I went over the words with white. My truck looks faded, so I'm going to paint it with this red. Now I am going to make my little gifts. What I'm going to use is a piece of cardboard and cut them into squares. I did five in total and they are all different size. I am going to use different wrapping paper. I just wrapped the cardboard like if it was a gift. After wrapping all my gifts, I am going to put the paper in the picture frame. I did not use the glass. I also decided to use a small tree I took off from the little red truck Christmas ornament and use it as an eye. To glue it to the paper, I just trimmed it a little bit from the back so it can lay straight. I then glued all the letters using my glue gun. I also used two small pieces of cardboard and glued them together and glue it to the back of the truck. So when I glue the truck to the frame, it stands straight. I tried using a Jenga block, but it was way too thick. Thank you. 
And the last thing I added was this wreath I made out of a garland tie and the garland berry. I also added this shoestring bow to it. And this completes this beautiful home for the holiday sign. I just love how it turned out. For this, I use this triple container. I found I found it where the wedding stuff is at at Dollar Tree. I remove all the stickers. Then I use this tape I got from Michaels. Uh, I got this a while back for like 30 cents, and then I taped it around in the middle. I also glued juice string on top and the bottom of the tape. For the inside, I'm going to use this empty ribbon spool. I glued garland around it. I also used two Jenga blocks and glued them to the back of the door so it can stand. I cut some of this felt I had into a circle. Then I glued it to the top of the ribbon spool. I glued the door that I got from Dollar General. Dollar Tree carries similar ones. I also use this reindeer and this mini tree. I then added the felt to a Jenga block so I can glue the little red truck ornament to it. The last thing I added were two snowflakes I got from Dollar Tree and a burlap bow. I use a picture frame from Dollar Tree and some of the wood plank paper I had left. I am also going to use this joy ornament I got from Dollar Tree. I cut the string and added more to make it longer. This is one way you can hang it so you don't glue it to the frame. I am going to use my last little red truck I have. I am not gluing it to the frame. I just push the glass and put the little wire in there. Since I had removed the Christmas tree from the little truck, I'm just going to glue it back and rehang it to the frame. And that is it you can leave it like that I just didn't like that there was a space in between joy and the truck so I took off the joy and tied it in the middle of the frame instead this was the easiest one I made so far because I didn't have to use any glue well only to glue the tree to the truck but that's because I removed it I'm going to start my first DIY using this wood truck and this picture frame. I got both of these from Dollar Tree. For the picture frame, you want to remove everything that came inside, like the little clip, the string, and all the photos. For now, that is all you have to do. Moving on to the wood truck, I am going to carefully remove the tree. Then I am going to paint the truck with this acrylic paint. This is in Santa Red.
With the same Tuscan Red and different paintbrush, I am going to distress around the truck and all the truck just because this is a darker red and it gives it the perfect old rustic look. To paint the tires, I am going to use my Apple Barrel acrylic paint in jet black. Then with a white paint, I am going to paint in some rims. And this completes my red truck. Just kidding. Now moving on to the picture frame, I am going to use this wood plank uh, paper I got from Michaels. This I got it a while back when they were four for a dollar. I am going to cut it to the size of the back of the frame or the back piece of the frame and then I am going to use some Mod Podge to glue it. I am going to use this stencil wheel I got from Dollar Tree just to draw a fresh cut or to trace. And I am just going to lay it and draw half of that circle with a pencil so it can guide me and the fresh cut can just be curvy and straight. But once I'm done doing that, I will erase that line. I am going to fill in the fresh cut using my black paint marker. I am then just going to put it back to the frame. To decorate my sign and add trees to the truck, I'm going to use these little Christmas trees I got from Dollar Tree. I am going to remove the stand and glue it so when I glue my truck to the frame, it can stay straight. I am going to glue this mini wreath I got from Dollar General and I took this buffalo check bow from this peace sign and glue it to the mini wreath. I just love how it's turning out. So I thought I didn't have to glue the Christmas trees. I thought they were going to be able to stay, but it looks like they're not. So I'm just going to add a little bit of glue so they can stay. You can leave it like that, but I decided to add 25 cents to it. I am going to use these wood numbers I already had. These are also from Dollar Tree. I am just going to paint them black. Then I am going to glue them underneath fresh cut. I also painted the scent symbol. I just love how it turned out. This truck I am going to paint it with a Tuscan red only. I'm going to do the same thing I did with my first truck. I'm going to paint the tires black and do some white rims. For the stand, I'm going to use this gather sign. This is also from Dollar Tree. I am going to paint it all white. Since I use acrylic paint, I had to do two coats. To trace days till Christmas, I'm using this letter stencil I got from Dollar Tree.
Now to paint the letters, I'm going to use this gold paint marker I got from Dollar Tree. For this red truck, I decided to add a fence to the back of it. I am going to use four popsicle sticks and paint them brown. I am also going to use two Jenga blocks, but these are going to be used in the back of the tires to help the truck stand. Now I'm going to put the Jenga blocks on the stand and mark it to where I'm going to glue the Jenga blocks first and then I'm going to glue the truck to it. You want to use a lot of uh, glue. Um, if you want, you can add E6000 to it. I, I just didn't and mine's still standing up. Okay, so what I'm gonna use to mark down the days, I'm gonna use these chalk labels. Um, I got these, I forgot where I got these, but I know and I've seen some at Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree does carry them, so I'm gonna use this ones because I already have them. And then that little wreath, the mini wreath you see, I made it myself. All I used was a garland tie and I made a small wreath and I added a gold bow to it. I didn't glue the wreath to the truck. All I did was hang it from the window using the boat just so I can lift it up and change the number. And the last thing I did was glue this Christmas tree to it. I don't have the footage to how I painted this because I didn't paint it, my daughter did. And this is a finished look. I just love how it turned out. I used most of the stuff from Dollar Tree except the ribbon and the paint. I was inspired by this lamp I seen at Walmart. I try to look for something that looks similar to the bottom of the post from the one at Walmart and I couldn't find anything so I decided to make my own by using these jumbo popsicle sticks. I got these from the new craft section at Dollar Tree. For the bottom of my lamp, I'm going to use five jumbo popsicle sticks. I am going to cut them to three inches and a half, and I am going to glue them together by using the pieces I cut off and glue them to the back. I am going to cut eight popsicle sticks. I'm going to use four right now and glue them around the bottom. I will use the other four later on the video. I am going to cut eight more popsicle sticks to four inches long. And glue two to each corner. Here is where I'm going to glue the other four popsicle sticks. I said I was gonna use it. I cut four more popsicle sticks to four inches long. Then I cut them in half, but the long way. I am going to glue two of them to make an X. I glued an X on all four sides. I decided to add more to it, so then I'm going to use these little leftover pieces and cut them in half. I cut four of them to make the total of eight. I then glued them across the X. And this is how it looks after I glue all of them. I'm going to use my Apple Barrel acrylic paint in jet black to paint the entire crate black. I'm going to paint the inside and outside. I'm going to use this piece of floral foam I got from Dollar Tree and I am going to use this garland tie to glue it around the foam.
I decided to add some gold berries and red berries just so it doesn't look too plain. After it's decorated, I am going to glue the foam to the crate. I'm going to use this stick. I got this from Dollar General, but you can find some at Dollar Tree. Now they carry some. And for the lamp, I'm going to use two different lanterns. I'm going to use this one. I'm only going to use the top part of this. To cut the part off, you can use a saw, but if you don't have one, you can use a knife. I use a knife instead, and it works. This is the second LED lantern I'm going to use. I will be using this upside down. I'm going to remove the handle part off. To add the stick, I'm going to use my E6000 and some hot glue. Before I add it to the foam, I'm going to let it dry for an hour. After that, I'm just going to add it to the foam. You can leave the top open, but I didn't. I'm going to close it, so I painted five more popsicle sticks black and cut them to the size of the crate. Now I'm just going to glue them using here is where you're going to use your fifth and last popsicle stick. This is for the middle part that it's missing. To decorate the top of the cray, I'm going to use this garland tie, but I am not going to glue it just because I want to be able to use this lamp throughout the year so I'm just going to wrap it around and just add some red berries and some pine cones or you can just add anything you want. I still had some of the garland berries so I decided to use it around the stick. I didn't glue it, I just wrapped it around it. For this next step, I decided not to glue the top part just because I want to be able to turn on my lamp and turn it off. You can if you want, but I don't think you need to if you don't need to move it around. The last thing I added was this bow. And this completes my lamp post. I hope you guys like it. I love it. I love how it turned out. It looks so cute. From Dollar Tree, I picked up one of these um, Thanksgiving signs or fall signs. I don't know if they still carry them, but you can pretty much use anything that's square. And all I'm going to do is use my acrylic paint in white and paint the whole thing. I am going to use this ruler to make some wood planks to my sign. I then went over it with my black paint marker. With the same black paint and a stipple paintbrush, I'm going to distress my sign. To add season's greetings, I'm going to use these stencils I got from Dollar Tree. I first tried it um, using the red paint marker, but it wasn't working. So I went over it with pencil first, and then I am going to go over it with red paint. To decorate my sign, I'm going to do a wreath. I'm going to do it using three garland ties. I got these from Dollar Tree. I'm just going to tie them around and then I'm going to make a bow using this ribbon I got from Dollar General. And I didn't glue the bow to the wreath. All I did was use a black ribbon and tied it. And I'm going to do the same thing to the wreath. I'm not going to glue the wreath directly to the 
side. I'm just going to use a black ribbon and glue the black ribbon to the back of the sign. I got this small box during Halloween, but Dollar Tree carries similar things you can use for the stand. I also picked up one of these small Christmas trees. I am going to start off by setting up the Christmas tree. I will not be using the little stand that comes with it. Instead, I will be using the box I showed you. Since I won't be using the stand that comes with the tree, I'm going to use this empty Play-Doh container that my son had. I am going to glue it upside down inside the box. Then I am going to glue the tree right on top of it. To secure my tree, I'm going to use these gems I got from Dollar Tree. I also added some pine cones on top for decoration. And I added some drawstring around the box. Most of the Christmas trees at Dollar Tree look sparse. There are so many different ways to fill them in. I am going to use what I already had at home and that is four garland ties that I got from Dollar Tree. I am just going to wrap them around the rod. To decorate my tree, I'm going to use this decorative ribbon. I know this is not Dollar Tree item, but it did cost me a dollar. I got this from Dollar General. It looks so pretty, uh, I just couldn't not use it and it just goes with the theme. So what I'm going to use is also drawstring. I'm cutting several pieces of drawstring. They are around one inch and a half. Then I am going to tie them to the ribbon. I left a space in between them. I also left the extra drawstring hanging to give it some extra decor to it. Now I'm going to wrap the ribbon around the tree. I'm going to start at the bottom and tie one of the extra drawstrings that was hanging around, around the branch. I am also going to do that to the top as well, just so it doesn't move around. Now you can move on and add the ornaments, but I decided I wanted to add more garland to it just to make it a little bit more fuller. And what I use is some of the Walmart garland I had, and I just wrapped it around just like the ribbon. Now I'm going to start adding some of my ornaments, and I'm going to use these ball ornaments I already had. You can find some similar ones like these at Dollar Tree. Mine are from Walmart. I got these last year. To hang them, I use some of the juice string. Like I told you at the beginning of my video that I made my own little ornaments to match my decor. Well, I made them using two Dollar Tree Jumbo Popsicle Sticks and the $1 buff ribbon I got from Dollar General. I cut the curvy size off the popsicle stick, then I cut them in four. So there was a total of eight with the two popsicle sticks. I am going to glue the ribbon around the popsicle stick, but first I am going to add some juice string just so I can make the little hoop so I can be so I can be able to hang them. They look like mini little gift bags. To add the little designs to them, I'm using a tiny brush and white acrylic paint. I'm going to freehand draw everything and the first one I did was this heart and then all I did was added some little polka dots around. You can pretty much do any designs to it, but what I did is I did a Christmas tree, I did a candy cane, Noel, a snowflake, love, and a little reindeer, also joy, and the heart. 
And the last thing I did was just hung them around the tree. And to do this I'm going to use this two-piece burner cover and this candle holder both of these I got them from Dollar Tree the only thing I painted was the small cover the bigger one you don't have to because you're not gonna be able to see it because that's gonna go at the bottom I'm going to use this wrapping paper I got this from Dollar General this was a dollar Dollar Tree does carry similar ones and all I did was just trace both of the covers and cut them out I am going to use Mod Podge to glue them inside. Be very careful and do it slowly so you won't get a lot of bubbles. I did the same steps to both covers. To add more decor to my trays, I will be using some juice string and gluing it around this tray. I will be doing it to both of them. I use E6000 and some hot glue to glue it to the center of my tray and then I am going to use more E6000 and hot glue to glue the other one on top of it. I did a two tier tray. You can add another one if you want. I just chose not to. To decorate my trays, I used some of the things I already had like this little tree farmhouse. I also added some small Christmas tree Dollar Tree carries. And I added this little cute sleigh Dollar Tree has. I also added this Christmas tree I did it on one of my DIY videos. All I did was change the bow. For my bottom tray, I added a candle. I also used this empty con plastic container I had and added some pine cones. And I am going to use this Noel sign I got from Dollar General. It doesn't stand, so I made a stand for it. All I did is glue it on top of a popsicle stick that I painted red. I also added other little small things to the bag. You can't really see, but it's just a snowman and Santa Claus. I got them from Dollar Tree. I also added these little cute decors that I did using Jenga blocks and Christmas ball ornaments. And this is how my little tear tray turned out. I hope you guys like it. I love how it turned out and it matches with everything I'm doing. I think this was the easiest one I did so far. Um, all I did was use a jar and some picks and of course the same ribbon I used in my first DIY. But all I did was painted the jar white and I left this streaky and I only did one coat so it can look so it can leave it that I don't know how to explain that look but yeah and then all I did is wrap some drawstring around in the middle I did it a couple of times and I did a bow using the same ribbon I used in my first DIY and I added that to the middle by the way the jar I got it from Dollar Tree and the drawstring is from Dollar Tree as well and the last thing I did is just added some picks. Um, I got some from Dollar Tree and some from Walmart. I am going to remove the plastic and paint it inside. I used my Apple Barrel acrylic paint in white. I also painted the sides white. But now that I think about it, you don't need to paint the inside white because I'm going to cover it. All you need to do is paint the sides and the outside. 
I am going to use this court sheet I got from Dollar Tree. I got this in the new craft section. I printed a deer head out. I cut it out and I cut the antlers off because I didn't like how those look. I then traced the deer head to the court sheet. This is the first deer head I had printed out, but it was way too big and it was sideways. But I like the antlers on this one, so what I did is I am going to try to draw him to my deer head on the court sheet. And then I am going to cut it out. What I did was make a small hole with a knife so I can put my scissors through and cut it out. Just be really careful because this is court sheet and you have to do it slowly so it doesn't break. I had first used this wrapping paper, but I later on changed it to a different one. I am going to use a piece of this wrapping paper and I am going to cut the cork sheet to the size of the frame. I am going to use regular glue to glue the paper to the frame. And the cork sheet already has adhesive, so you don't need to add glue to it. So make sure you use what you want so you don't have to make this mistake I did because it was actually hard to try to take it off and put some other paper. For the word joy, I am going to use the wood letters Dollar Tree carries and I am going to paint them black. And I am also going to paint the edges black. And I use my tiny little paintbrush to outline the deer head. Here is where I'm gonna switch papers. It was 69 cents, but I got four for a dollar. I used my knife to gently remove the court sheet. I only removed the top part and then I'm just going to replace it. Now I am going to glue the letters. I'm going to start with the O first. And to add some more decor to my sign, I took off this little greenery. I forgot from where but I know it was from like a little word sign. So I took it off and all I did is glue it right underneath the head. And I also added a juice string bow I made. And this completes this sign. I hope you guys like it as much as I do. From Dollar Tree, I got two of their fall decor signs. I don't know if they still have these, but if they don't, I seen some Christmas signs that look similar to these. I started by gluing them together with my glue gun. Then I'm going to use some popsicle sticks to glue them to the back for extra support. To paint my sign, I use a mixture of mineral, hazelnut, and truffle. These are from the brand Waverly Chalk Paint. I was trying to do a different brown. I then used a truffle paint and a small paintbrush to draw some lines to make some wood planks. With a different brush, I distressed my sign to give it more like a rustic old look. For let us know, I used this wood sign I got from Dollar Tree. And I didn't want it to be white, I wanted it to be more like a beige color. So I mixed some white and a drop of hazelnut. I painted the letters with this beige color and then I painted the snowflake white. Okay. 
I am going to paint snow at the bottom of my sign using white acrylic paint. For the trees, I use these beautiful white ornament trees I got from Dollar Tree. I use my glue gun to glue them. I am going to paint some snow falling and all I did was use a small paintbrush and painted a whole bunch of dots. Just so you can see it when I glue it to the snowflake. I then glue the let us know to the sign. For this next step, I wasn't sure what I wanted to add to my sign. But what I did is I tied one garland and a half and then I brushed some white paint to make it look like snow. But I think this wreath is not necessary because I am going to add this Christmas pick I got from Dollar Tree. And since I had glued the wreath already before I decided to use this pick, um, I couldn't take it off. And if I took it off, I was going to mess up my sign. So I just left it. So added some drawstring to the bottom just so it can cover the little holes it has. And that is it guys. I hope you guys like this beautiful Let Us Know sign. I absolutely love how it turned out. Simple but yet beautiful. From Dollar Tree, I got one of these decor canvas. I painted it using my Waverly chalk paint and truffle. I then mix truffle and black paint to make a darker brown so I can draw some wood planks. I distress it using the mix of paints and a stipple paintbrush. With a tinier brush, I painted some thinner lines. I am going to use another tree ornament, but this time I am going to use only one. And the word joy, I got this from a pack I got from Dollar Tree. I am also going to use another buffalo plate ribbon bow and glue it to the tree. I then glue the tree on one side and joy on the other. The last thing I did was paint snow at the bottom of the sign. And that is it guys. This was very easy to make. Took me less than 5 minutes. From Dollar Tree, I got this clipboard and removed the clip and the sticker. I am going to paint it with this white acrylic paint. I am only doing one coat and leaving it streaky so the brown can peek through.
Then with a ruler and a pencil, I'm going to draw wood planks. Then I'm going to go over them with what I'm sorry, with black acrylic paint using a spot using a small paintbrush. With a different paintbrush, I'm actually using a makeup brush here. It's from the brand e.l.f. Um, this is an old brush, that's why I'm using it. Instead of throwing it, I decided to just recycle it. But I am going to start distressing it. To decorate my sign, I am using this ornament I got from Dollar General and this welcome metal sign I got from Dollar Tree. You can add some drawstring where the clip was, so if you want to hang it. For this DIY, I'm going to use this galvanized bucket and this mini wreath and a, you can use a ruler but I'm going to use a paint stir stick and I am also going to use the garland. I am not gluing the wreath to the stick, what I'm going to do is use some juice string to tie it. You can decorate your wreath however you want, but I'm going to use these pine cones. I got these from Dollar General but dollar tree does carry some similar ones um i don't think they carry the ones with the white but you can easily paint them using white acrylic paint and make them look like this i am gluing this bow but i ended up changing it to the red one instead i am using this galvanized bucket i got this from target a while back but dollar tree does carry similar things you can use and so the wreath can stand i'm going to add some foam inside the bucket and some pebbles and to cover that up i'm going to use some garland my third diy is very easy and simple to do i made a present to use as decor, I am using an 8x10 canvas from Dollar Tree and some ribbon. I am using this buffalo check ribbon I got from Dollar General. I didn't do a lot to it. All I did was glue the ribbon to the canvas like this. But I cut it so I didn't use a lot of the ribbon. I also glued it to the back just in case I want to reuse this canvas later. The last thing I did was I added a bow I made out of the same ribbon. I am going to use three different ward ornaments. I got one from Dollar Tree and two from Dollar General. And I am using another paint stir stick. Um, you can use a ruler from Dollar Tree for this as well. And I painted it green. All I did was glue the wards to it. I then added this snowflake ornament I got from Dollar Tree.
for the stand i'm using this wood sign i got this from dollar tree from the new craft section and i painted it brown for this next part i used some blocks um i just didn't want to show them because of the new law youtube is putting on us so i did use two blocks to make it hold and i added some garland to cover that up I am going to start with this merry and bright sign well i was trying to make it look like a door because i got inspired by this dollar general ornament well i'm going to start with two beware signs i got from the halloween decor section at dollar tree and i am going to use my waverly chalk paint in white to paint both of my signs I am then going to use one of the signs as a ruler. I will draw a line in the middle of each sign to give it the wood plane look. With a small paintbrush and this black acrylic paint, I'm going to go over the lines. I am also going to put the two signs together and make a line in the middle. I am going to distress my sign using this dipple paintbrush. I should have glued my two signs together first, but I didn't. So what I am going to use to glue them together are these popsicle sticks I got from Dollar Tree. I use a total of 15. And now moving on to the Merry and Bright wood sign I got from Dollar Tree. I am going to paint it using Tuscan Red and the Santa Red. I'm going to mix them together and paint Merry and then i am going to ombre or try to make it look like an ombre and paint bright using the santa red i am going to use 10 of these jumbo popsicle sticks i got these from lowe's but you can find some at dollar tree i'm going to use six of them to make the window this next step i think uh it doesn't really matter if you do it because once you add the wreath to it you won't be able to tell but what i did is i cut the curved sign on each popsicle stick and made it straight and then i'm going to paint all 10 of the popsicle sticks black I am going to glue two popsicle sticks to the bottom, but first I have to cut them to the size of the sign. Then I am going to glue Mary and Bright. Now I'm going to glue the six popsicle sticks that I cut to make the window. Before I glue the other two, I'm going to use this jute string and these signs already have the little holes so all I have to do is put them through the holes and make a hanger. So if I want to hang this, I can. To do the wreath, I'm going to use this garland I got from Walmart but you can find some at Dollar Tree. I got this at Walmart last year after it was 50% off. I am just going to place it around the window but before I glue it to the sign I'm going to do a bow using this ribbon. I got this from Dollar General. It was 
After I'm done doing my bow, I am going to glue the wreath to the sign. I am not going to glue the whole thing around. I am only going to glue the top, bottom, and the sides. To decorate my wreath, I'm going to use this berry pick I got from Walmart. This cost me 97 cents. I'm just going to remove all the little leaves and glue them around the wreath. And then I'm going to glue the bow to the wreath. Then after that, I'm just gonna cut the ends and do a V shape. So right here I'm just showing you how big the door is right next to the small little door. And the last thing I'm going to do is add this mini ornament to the bow. For this DIY, you're going to need these miniature trees and this little house. This little house, I got it back in, I'm not so sure if it was during the spring or summer, but I got both of these at Dollar Tree. Then I'm just going to paint the whole house black um, using the Apple Barrel Acrylic Paint in Jet Black. I am not going to paint the inside because I will be using some wood plank paper to cover that. For the inside of the house, I'm going to use this wood plank paper I got from Michaels. I'm just going to trace the house and cut it. Before I glue the paper to the house, I'm going to use this stencil sheet I got from Dollar Tree to trace Christmas trees. When I'm done tracing Christmas, I'm just going to erase the line. To color in the words, I'm going to use this red paint marker I got from Hobby Lobby. I'm going to do this little decor for the house. I'm just going to trim uh, a piece of garland tie, trim it really, really small. And then I am going to add um, these little pine cones to each side. And then I'm going to do a juicestring bow using juicestring from Dollar Tree. To glue the paper, I'm going to use a Mod Podge. I had forgotten that I wanted to paint that part white, the bottom part, so all I did was Used my Waverly Chalk Paint in White and painted the bottom. I am going to glue the decor I did to the house. And the last thing I'm going to do is add these little trees.
so what I used to make this sign were two packs of the five gallon paint stir sticks. I got these from Lowe's, but you can also find them at Walmart or Home Depot. So I cut five of them and I took the handle part off using my handsaw. Then I cut one of them and made two pieces of seven inches. I am going to lay the smaller pieces first, then I'm going to start gluing them. I use my glue gun for this, but th these are wood, so you can use wood glue if you have any. I didn't. I would have had to wait longer to paint it. To paint my sign, I am going to make some stain and I use some of this burnt umber and mix it with a little bit of water. This is how it looks once it's dry. I am going to use some of the Dollar Tree garland and cut a piece to make an O. For the J and Y, I wanted to use these poster letters, but I ran out of my white ones, so I decided to draw the Y and J, or the J and Y. To paint the letters, I am going to use my white acrylic paint. I decided to add this buffalo check bow I got from Dollar General and I just tied it to the wreath. I did not glue my wreath to my sign. What I did is I used some a piece of juicing and tied it to the wreath and then I glued the juice drink to the back of the sign so if I want to reuse the sign I can and that is it guys I love how my sign turned out you can use it with or without the bow they both look beautiful my next DIY is a very easy and simple base. I am going to recycle a candle jar I got from Dollar Tree and this ornament I got from Dollar Tree and a piece of burlap. I got this from Michaels, paid $2 and something for a 30 feet roll with a coupon. I am going to use my glue gun to glue the burlap around the glass. I am going to use this buffalo check ribbon I got from Dollar General, even though once I added the snowflake, you can hardly see it. To decorate it, I used some of this greenery pick I got from Walmart and I also added some juice string at the top.
I used a poster board to make the cone and I got my poster board from Dollar Tree. To make my cone, I cut a triangle first, then the bottom of the triangle, I cut it round. So it depends how big you want your Christmas tree to be. So if you want a big Christmas tree, then you cut a big triangle. And if you want a small one, you cut a smaller one. I then fold it to the shape of a cone and then I use my glue gun to glue it. With some drawstring I got from Dollar Tree, I glued the top only and then I wrapped it around the cone. I only glued it here and there so the string wouldn't move. To decorate my tree, I'm going to use this berry garland I got from Dollar Tree. I am going to wrap it around the cone. I didn't glue the top part because this is like a wire. So I just wrapped it around and then wrapped it around the whole cone and I only glued it at the bottom. And for my tree topper, I'm going to use this gold bow. My second tree, I'm going to use a cone I made out of the same poster board and I'm going to use around 55 to 60 popsicle sticks. I got them from Dollar Tree. With one popsicle stick, I made three small ones. The middle part, I had to cut it curvy like the two ends of the popsicle stick. I was contemplating on adding this tree because I don't know what happened to the footage where it shows how I glued them around the cone. To be honest, I don't even know if I even pressed record or I don't know what happened. But it's pretty easy and simple to do. To paint the tree, I use this English Ivy Green. I got this from Walmart. Um, it's from the brand Apple Barrel. I had started off with a big brush then I had to use a smaller one just so I can go inside the little part where the big brush wouldn't fit. I think it's easier if you paint the sticks before you glue them. And to add the gold to it I use a gold glue. I got this in a pack I got from Dollar Tree. I put some gold glue at every end of the popsicle stick. For my topper, I use this snowflake. This is actually a ornament I had. I cut most of the sides but one and I used the star in the middle. I cut the top part off of the tree because I wasn't able to add more popsicle sticks. It left a hole so to cover that up that is where I added the star. To decorate my star I put some gold glue dots. This tree reminds me of a pine cone. And this completes this popsicle stick Christmas tree. From Dollar Tree, I got one of the wood trees. And for this stand, I'm going to use eight Jenga blocks. To paint my Christmas tree, I'm going to use this Waverly chalk paint in white. I am going to make my tree a little bit rustic and old looking, so I'm going to distress it using this brown paint. To decorate my tree, I'm going to use some of the same berry garland I used in my first DIY. I am just going to wrap it around the tree. Well, I didn't exactly wrap it because I cut it and I glued the ends in the back. I 
I am going to use the word peace from this metal decor pack I got from Dollar Tree. I decided not to glue the piece to the tree. All I did was just hang it from the garland. For my tree topper, I'm going to use this bow. I I am going to use two pine cones I got from this little pine cone bag I got from Dollar Tree. I am also going to use these leaves I took off from a floral and I am going to cut one of them. I am first going to glue the leaves and then the pine cones, one on each side. And then I'm going to use some berries I got from a berry pick from Dollar Tree. Oh, and I also painted the stand black. And this completes this farmhouse Christmas tree.